All right, guys, I'm going to do a quick little uh, rod and reel arsenal. I don't have the craziest stuff. I'm not here uh, saying that I got Daiwa Zillions and Shimano cores, but I uh, get the best that I can afford. Uh, first things first is going to be the Rapala Magnum travel rod. I took this guy with me to Jamaica on my honeymoon. Worked flawlessly. I have no problems with this rod. It's actually a four piece construction. As you can see inside, it comes nice padded case. Uh, here's the butt section. And the other three pieces just fits together just like a two piece where you put it all together. It's actually got uh, a little open spot there so you can feel the blank. This is made for spinning, of course. Uh, it's got IM7X Graphite, RCT3 uh, Rapala Custom Taper, and the MGS Max Guide System. I believe uh, Rapala does all their own stuff in-house. Uh, again, it's the Magnum Travel Series. It's, the, it's a 7 foot medium, light action. It's, uh, it's good for 4 to 14 pound test. That's kind of like a guideline, but I'm sure you can go a little bit more. I'm sure this, this guy would take up to, let's say, 18 to 20 pound test, depending where you are. Like I said, I was fishing uh, salt water for a bit. I wasn't catching sharks, but uh, some bigger stuff, and it held up great. No problems with this rod. If you guys can get your hands on Rapala rods up there and down there in the States, I know it's not easy, but uh, try it out. If you can, if you can't, so be it. At least the Canadian guys up here will keep our, our Rapala a little secret. Put that all back inside. So that's one spinning rod. Uh, my second one, this is actually this is actually more of my wife's rod. It's a uh, Quantum SS. I actually got this in a combo a few quite a few years ago. But this thing just doesn't break. So I see no reason to uh, changing it out. It's a uh, six foot six medium action, and it's uh, spooled up here with uh, Red Power Pro. And I've got the Fluger President reel, as you can see there. Great reel for the price. Uh, if you're looking, if you're a starter just looking to to start out, the Fluger President is a uh, ten bearing system. This is the 2500 series, or is it the, the, yep, I believe this is the 2500 or 3000 series, most of the time it's not much of a difference. It's got the uh, instant anti-reverse, you can change from left to right side depending how you want to, how you want to reel. I've actually got the little uh, Strike King uh, Rage Craw here, that's her favorite, her favorite bait for bass fishing. That's that. This is my other spinning rod. I use this as uh, more for drop shotting, uh, light stuff. It's an Abu Garcia Vengeance. Let me flip this around here. It's an Abu Garcia Vengeance rod. Something cheap. I think I picked this up at a small tackle shop because my, my other rod snapped. This is a 7 foot medium. And it's got a Shimano Sahara 3000 FD on it, which... For the price, this reel is fantastic. It's got the line propulsion system. Uh, it's not the lightest in the world, but you can get by spinning rods. Spinning reels are not, normally not too light anyways, unless you're looking to spend two, $200 or more. Um, looks good. Performs even better. This thing casts further than any than any other uh, spinning reel I've ever had, and I really think it has something to do with this propulsion line management system. So it, it, this keeps a tighter coil when the uh, when the line is coming off the reel, keeps a tighter coil so so it's not slapping the blank and stuff like that. So that, that, that's that guy there. 
this is a rod and reel combo that I just picked up on Boxing Day. That's like the uh, for all the Americans out uh, for all the uh, Americans out there. That's like our, our Black Friday. Say Bass Pro Shop Pro Qualifier Tournament Series. Rod and reel. Uh, as you can see, I believe this one's a six foot six medium heavy. So it's a six foot six medium heavy. I really wanted a seven foot, but you can't always get what you want on uh, on sale days. It's not the easiest thing in the world. It's actually not bad. It's pretty light. It's IMA graphite here. I make graphite, uh, regular size guides, not micro, but I think I spent $80 to buy this. And normally just this reel alone, you're looking at 110 bucks. So I just picked it up anyways. Um, this is a 6.4 to 1. I think I'm going to turn this into my crankbait and uh, jerkbait rod. And you see there it's got the Pro Qualifier reel too. I'm going to be putting some 15 pound uh, fluorocarbon on here, left hand retrieve, and it's got a nice split grip, it's got a nice split grip, which always just, uh, for me it looks nice, it's not too huge of a difference unless you're counting ounces. this guy here this is my uh, St. Croix Premier rod and I've, it's a 6 foot 6 medium heavy which with St. Croix anybody who has any St. Croix know that uh, St. Croix their, their power rating would be medium heavy but this thing's more like a heavy rod so I use this uh, for some flipping and pitching, not uh, not like crazy. I'm going to be buying something a little bit longer. This thing's been uh, bugging me because it's too short. And on there I've got the Abu Garcia Revo SX, 11 bearings. You know what? A lot of people do like this reel. I personally don't like it too much because of the. Uh, it's only got magnetic brakes on it. And it drives me nuts. Uh, with my casting style, this tends to give me a little bit more back backlashes, whereas something with uh, centrifugal brakes doesn't give me... I haven't had backlashes in about 3-4 years. So, uh, other than that, it's a very smooth reel. I can understand why people like it. It's just that magnetic brake system. And I know that I have to go up a few steps to get the uh, combo magnetic slash centrifugal. So. And uh, the rod also has a full cork butt here. And this rod actually came from my home, the cork actually comes from my home country of Portugal. So that's good. And last but not, certainly not least, this is my favorite setup that I have. It's in, uh, it's a uh, Shimano Corrado 201E7. The 201 is for left hand, of course. Uh, seven bearing system. I know it's not as much as the Abu's as the Abu's ten bearing system, but I can tell you right now the quality of the bearings that Shimano uses is amazing. So this reel ends up being very smooth. I've uh, got this guy mounted on uh, with uh, I think this is thirty pound Timber Brown Power Pro, the super slick. Uh, it's got uh, it's mounted on the Abu Garcia Veritas rod. Split grip. This is a six foot nine medium heavy, and this is a medium heavy. It's not. Uh, it actually might be a little bit lighter than it should. It's got the uh, thirty ton graphite, which is really nice, guys. My opinion, this is pound for pound the best bang for your buck that you're gonna get in a fishing rod. I have some guys that some friends of mine that use the. Uh, I use rods like the carrot sticks and stuff like that, but they just don't work for me. I've seen a lot of them snap the tips right off. Uh, we have a lot of pike and muskie up here in Canada, so you go try and set the hook on something 
oversized like that, like a musky, you're going to snap that thing right in half. So This rod I haven't had any problems with, very accurate. Wish it was a bit longer, that's the next rod that I buy. Actually got a few, uh, a few uh, fishing shows and sportsman shows coming up, so I'm going to be going to those, hopefully pick myself up a new rod and a new reel. Maybe more than one, depending what the wife lets me spend. So uh, take it easy. See you. See you again soon.